So today, folks, we are in this fantastic forest foraging for fabulous fungi to photograph. Thank you, Michelle, for that. Um, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you might wonder how I managed to come out and find interesting things to photograph every single time. And the secret to that is I don't. I came out last week for the day and um, spent the entire day photographing things that I thought would be good when I got home, I just thought it wasn't good enough. The photos weren't that great and the footage wasn't that great. So um, I just binned that basically. So I went out yesterday to try and reshoot. I went to a different location and it turned out that I'd picked a really bad location. So I came back with nothing yesterday. So I've now come out for the third day and uh, we're gonna crack on and we're gonna find some great stuff. So I found this little twig which doesn't really look like much but I think once we get the camera on it and get a bit of light on it I think it's going to really kind of reveal itself as an interesting thing so I'm going to set that up. Right we set up on the twig this is quite an unusual composition for me we've got just this really sort of simple shape with this twig just kind of forming a curve there it's these little bits here, to me this looks almost like an octopus tentacle which kind of makes it even more interesting. But we've got the LED light to the right here which is just throwing some side light up here. We just put my hand in front of it. You can see the difference that's making. So we're underexposing from the daylight slightly just to make sure we don't burn out these bits up here at the top. Um, so yeah, not sure what to say about this really. Nice out of focus background. I'm going to shoot at f8. If we just look at the depth of field preview. So the background is nicely out of focus. I'm going to focus, well, here. The whole twig is sort of pretty much parallel to the camera. Um, the camera, I don't know whether you can see, is actually set at a slight angle, tipping to the left, just because I've wedged the twig in a, a worm hole or a woodworm hole in this branch. And that's the angle it was at, so I needed to tilt the camera slightly. Um, yeah, so nice curve. I didn't want to go right into the corner here. I think that sometimes looks a little bit awkward. So we're just sort of offset from the corner and just curving around. Um, I'm going to shoot focus stack, so I'm going to focus here. I'm going to draw the focus towards me just to make sure I don't miss anything. I don't want to miss any edges along these little bits here. And I'm going to shoot focus stack. I'm going to massively overdo it for this subject. And I'm going to go 50 shots, not expecting to use more than, I don't know, 5, 10 at the very most, maybe even less. But uh, better safe than sorry, so I'm going to shoot that now. So looking at the final image in the stack, we can see we're well past everything we're going to need. Massive overkill, but better safe than sorry. So um, if that stack's okay, here it is now. Okay, that shot is done, so I am going to crack on in that direction and see what else I can find. So I found these beautiful green things down here. I'm not sure how I'm going to shoot them that does them any kind of justice at all, but I'm going to set the camera up and see what I can get. 
Right, we are set up for this shot. I'm not sure which way up this is going to go when I've finished. At the moment it's kind of, well, sort of upside down, but I don't know. Is that upside down or the right way up? Anyway, we've just kind of gone for a composition. Excuse me while I pick a spider off my face. Um, we've just gone for a composition where we've got this nice big fan shape and we've got this little kind of piece here. A bit of moss along the bottom there. Very simple, we've got the LED light down at the bottom here. And that's just giving a little bit of light in the background, if I just turn that away. You can see the difference that's making. Just a little bit of well, warmth really, as much as light. So um, we're going a little bit underexposed because I want to make sure I don't burn this piece out. And that's pretty much it, very simple composition. Got these bits in the background that just kind of look nice really. Just check the depth of field preview. We can see that they're not going to be super sharp. So we're going to focus stack it. I'm actually going to change my focus point. I'm going to make my initial focus point just here, which is this little bit down here. That bit there. That's about the closest point to me, I think. So I'm going to focus on that. As usual, I'm going to draw the focus towards me just to make sure I don't miss anything. And I'm going to focus stack it. We're going to go 100 images, not expecting to use more than, I don't know, 20, 30 at the most. But let's shoot it. OK, looking at the final image in the stack, we can see our point of focus is well past the subject, so obviously we're not going to use these ones that show the background sharp. We just want all of this bit to be sharp. So if that looks good, here it is now. OK, that shot is done, ladies and gents. I am now going to crack on. I've taken my gloves off. I'm now going to crack on and see if I can find another shot. Not that way then. So this is a bit of an unusual shot for me, but I've just come across these things growing on a log. I'm just kind of thinking I might be able to do something with shallow depth of field and a bit of kind of side lighting or back lighting and yeah, see if we can get something interesting out of this. So I'm just going to set that up and see how it looks. Okay, so we are set up for this shot. As I said, this is quite a different shot for me because we've got lots of nice sort of dreamy out of focusness and it's really just completely monochrome. We've got an LED light on the left of the subject here and another LED light on the right of the subject here and that's just if I put my hand in front of it you can see that's just lighting up this side and the other LED is just picking out this sort of bit here and just kind of lighting this up so I'm going to shoot at f8 I've stuck the ISO up to 800 because these things are wafting about in the wind right on cue, wafting about in the wind, and I want a shutter speed that is, has at least some chance of freezing some movement. So um, I'm going to shoot focus stack. I'm going to focus kind of initially up here. And I'm going to bring the focus towards me just to make sure everything's in focus. And I'm shooting the focus stack not because I want everything in focus, but I want to make sure I hit a nice focus point and shooting a focus stack will give me the choice. So I'm going to shoot that now. So looking at the final shot in the, um, the stack, we can see the focus point as well to the back. So we should have everything we need. So if that shot looks good, here it is now.
So that's it folks, third shot is done and I'm gonna call it a day. So I will see you next time, cheers.